What's up everybody, it's me, Xanerman. I'm here to play Witcher 1. Uh, Witcher 1 has been one of my uh, favorite games, uh, story-wise. It's quite an intriguing one, though the gameplay leaves a lot to be desired. Anyway, this might be my, uh, I guess, third time playing this game. Um, I have played it twice in the past and well I haven't played it for many years so hopefully this will be a uh, three game series where I will play through all three Witcher games let's get this shit on the road <clears throat> alright so I'm gonna be playing medium because uh, fuck the combat The Northern Kingdoms nursed their wounds for five years after the Great War. Plague and famine raged, the death toll unknown. A few surviving elven and dwarven units sought refuge amidst forests, where they prepared for a final, desperate fight. Abominable beasts ruled backwoods, highways, and former battlefields alike. In cities and villages, folk were left wondering, what had happened to the witchers? The Blue Mountains in the north of Kedwin. The year, 1270. Five years after the Great War. Everything's all right. I've no idea where you've been. The important thing is you're alive and among friends. Though you look like you just left your grave. I remember nothing. We'll speak soon enough. We're nearing Kaer Morin. We're home. Leo, get Triss. Your time nears its end, witches. Enjoy things while you can.
wrong. You missed the parry. I keep repeating this. Pirouette always followed by a back cross parry. Always. Barely two days have passed since they found you. Mm-hmm. I owe my recovery to you. Thank you, Triss. Remember anything? Not much. Look below. I know the moves. Pirouette, parry, cut. I can't explain it, but I feel a bond when we speak. I know you are important. Geralt, we... <gasps> I need to think. Time flows slowly at Kaer Morin. Ha! It worked! Not bad. Take a rest. What do you think, Geralt? Is he ready for the path? Wait for the rest. He's alone. The Professor promised 50 orans for every freak we kill. He's mine! Vesemir! We got company! I'm shutting the gate. Geralt, grab a sword off the training forms. Right, so as you may have noticed, I tend to keep quiet during um, cutscenes. But this is one hell of a start. Jumps us right into the action here. As you can see, the combat is basically uh, a series of quick time events. Look at the right time, you, you do uh, for more powerful attacks. How do you feel? Fine. Anyone know who the intruders are? Ordinary bandits would never attack Kaer Morin. That we know, Marigold. You could try some of your famous magic. In due time, Lambert. Enough! We need to check the other possible passages to the upper courtyard. I must say, one thing they really improved upon in Witcher 2 was the uh, character models. Just take a look at Triss and uh, Geralt during these cutscenes. Uh, makes you laugh a bit. What's happening? They're trying to break down the gate! They won't get anywhere without a battering ram. Shit! What is that? A frightener. One mean beast. Savola. I know him. A mage as ambitious as he is insane. They're coming up here. Get ready! There's more! They're entering the upper courtyard! The one in glasses is the professor. Murder for hire. I sense magic. There's a sorcerer among them. Professor, you know the way. Get to it. The Professor is wanted in Redania, Tamaria, and Kedwin. A real maggot. I don't recognize the Sorcerer. Marigold, I'm interested in whether you can disarm Savola. The rest is witch's work. I'll try. They're coming. The Frightener is very dangerous, but it's vulnerable to loud noises. The bell's in the upper courtyard. Exactly. 
Eskel, Lambert, you'll help me stop the Frightener and the bandits. Leo, stay behind us. Geralt, you open the gate to the upper courtyard. When we're there, Triss can stop Savola and his pet while we prepare to deal with the Professor and the Unknown Mage. I'll figure something out. Let's do this. Bleed them a bit down here before withdrawing. Geralt, follow the wall and break through to the tower where there's a passage to the upper courtyard. Alone? They're just bandits, though one might be infamous. You must open the gate. We'll be waiting. Good luck, Wolf. All right, here we go. We're gonna go off alone. Fight our way through all these uh, salamander bandits. Here you can see I uh, managed to stun one for some reason, and uh, managed to deal a finishing blow, which create or plays an animation, uh, a different animation, basically. The combat does get a bit more um, interesting, I suppose. Uh, once you get a bit mess into with the me game. and die as we'll see once we get on this wall I do like this uh, opening it does show a lot of uh, well, it does show how powerful the witchers are compared to regular humans and how feared they are. As you can see, uh, friends down there can basically hold off the entire force. You dare challenge the Salamandra! Here we get to the uh, fun part of the combat. Where you switch fighting styles depending on the opponent. You have. We have two at the moment. This is the heavy style. And then we have the fast style for more agile opponents. Like the bold ones. You'll regret the day you were born. battle actually moving behind us and we've got some archers down below that we should deal I'll with you. I'll slay you like a dog No way through here. Follow me. Back to Savola. Huh, fools. It was a trap all along. You fell right for it. I'll make you squeal. It was never our intention to uh, kill those guys. So our task was to open the gate like for the rest of our companions and the gate leader is right down there but of course there is a bunch of bandits that we have to cut our way through These archers are the first enemy that actually drops loot in the game. Just randomly. There's also a barrel here that you can loot for some quick, quick bucks. 
Now down to the courtyard. For our greatest battle Die, yet. Bastard! Three enemies. At the same time. Good thing these enemies actually don't deal any damage. I would have been royal screwed otherwise. Damn it, Geralt. It's a miracle you're alive. You could have told me about the stairs. Lambert and Eskel were supposed to fix them yesterday. We're not Masons. No matter. The Professor and the other mage must be hiding in the keep. Face the truth, Witchers. They're here to rob you. Triss, child, we have nothing of value. Some good steel, snow fox pelts? I mean the laboratory and you know it. Someone wants your famed mutagens. You're jumping to conclusions. Triss may be right. We need to find out what they want. One thing at a time. We shouldn't turn our backs on a strong mage leading a frightener. And you can't let the bandits in the lab. Right as usual, Triss. Geralt, you've dealt with mages. Find out what this one wants. Leo will guide you. Just reconnaissance, or...? No one will be sorry if some of them lose their heads. You'll manage, Wolf. Just remember Leo's with you. I can handle this. We'll see what's happening inside, and be back. Take these potions just in case. Drink the Thunderbolt now, and keep Swallow for when you need healing. I'll be able to tell you how they work. We'll make sure no one else gets inside. Triss, stay with us, in case Savola has any new ideas. Frankly, I'm not sure why they don't... So what do these potions do? The Thunderbolt is a combat potion. Your body will tense up. Adrenaline will course. Any side effects? Makes it tough to focus on defense. And a hangover. Swallow is a healing potion. Thanks. A hangover. Pump that shit right into my veins. Beware brother. of the professor. I've heard he's a professional. Ended 17 lives. All right. Sorry. I know you fought bandits and mages before. Uh... Remember your potions. Good advice, Eskel. As always. Get it done quickly and you may be back in time for the Frightener. Will do. What did Vesemir mean about me and sorcerers? You killed a few in your time. Sorceresses are a separate matter. You have a weakness for them and it's mutual. Marigold cried when she told us of your disappearance. She's not all bad, though too smart for her own good sometimes. We'll talk when things calm down. Drink your Thunderbolt potion and explore the keep. Right. That's a bunch of references to the book. Or, well, one reference to the book. What should I expect from the mage? Hard to say. I know neither him nor his specialty, and I don't like the situation. Meaning? Someone powerful, capably disguised, helps Savola. Without that, I would have conquered his defenses in the lower courtyard. Could it have been the mage we saw? Unlikely. Geralt, please don't challenge him. We'll see. They're all just standing around. Really, they should come and follow me into the keep. Ready, Geralt? Mm-hmm. Is this your first real fight? No, but I've never killed a man. Stay close. Right, so I should probably actually drink that potion. And the potion does uh, damage increase and, well, can't dodge or parry, or less effective at dodging and parrying. I've heard all of Dandelion's ballads about you. 
Lambert tells me I'll never be as fast as a real witcher. But I managed to hit him during training today. You beat Lambert? Yeah, we were fencing on the floor pegs when that strange storm came. Lambert looked away. I did a pirouette, hit him right in the gut. Uh, he didn't fall, and then he beat me. You'll make a good swordsman yet. I know. <laughs> Every time Lambert beats me, he says I have potential. I'm sure you do, Leo. So here we are in the interior of the castle. Speaking of which, Care Morin is actually uh, mess with me and pretty die. fancy castle. One of my favorite fantasy castles, actually. Just for the layout and the uh, look. Though, well, sadly, it's mostly in a state of disrepair when this game takes place. Ah, uh, here we get to the uh, group fighting style. Where you basically strike many opponents at the same time. And, uh, really in inefficient if you're fighting just a single opponent. I believe three is the magic number that you uh, need to be able to effectively use group fighting style. These stairs lead to the lab. Follow me. The energy you annexed from the Circle of Elements is enough to stop the Witchers? You tremble, yet you complain Savola would have them all, leaving none for you. Did the sight of a single Witcher, White Wolf himself, instill fear? The aforementioned considered dead, I might add, is a known killer. I'll gladly challenge him. Leo, stand back. Come on, Professor. Time is essential. I wield the power of the Circle of Elements. They are no threat. Back to work. I want the mutagens ready for teleportation in 15 minutes. Our witches shan't trouble us. We're cut off. The stairs are blocked. The magic barrier looks solid. We need Triss. They're robbing us. Geralt, clear the passage upstairs. Use a sign. A sign? The Ard. I can't do it since I broke my fingers training along the gauntlet. Cast the Ard at the debris. I don't remember the signs. Let's go to the Circle of Elements, a source of the power. You need to try and learn the Ard. All right. Yeah, let's go learn the Ard. How Ard can it be? It's interesting that uh, Leo can use the Ard, given that he's not a full-blooded Witcher. But I guess, I guess you don't really need the mutagens to actually use these signs for some reason. Success. We'll see in a minute. I knew it would work. Let's get back before Lambert kills the Frightener himself. But at least we now know what the professor and the mage actually want. They want to rob the mutagens in the laboratory. Let's use the art here. What did you learn? The bandits are in the lab, searching for something. The mage used the circle of elements to create a magic barrier. The plague! You're all children. Why didn't you mention the circle? Triss, child. It didn't seem important. If the mage aligned with the circle, he can create a stable portal through which he'll travel to anywhere on the continent, taking your equipment with him. All right, we made a mistake. But you said the mage was harmless. I said I didn't know him. I think we should protect the lab above all. Don't panic, Marigold. We know you'd like to see our witch's secrets. Vesemir, if that idiot doesn't shut it, I'll... Enough! Lambert, stop baiting Triss. Show her some respect. 
Triss, if we go to the lab, they'll have us surrounded. We know tactics. Maybe we should split up. Geralt's right. We need to protect the lab and kill the Frightener. Who goes where? Only I can break the barrier. I'm going inside. Vesemir? I'll stay and handle the Frightener and Savola. What about you, Geralt? We may both need your help. Well, let's go with the lab, because it's actually probably the more important uh, objective here. The lab is important. I'm going with Triss. Me too. It's decided then. Eskel and Lambert will stay with me. Savola just cast a spell. Something's happening. The ground is shaking. Feel it? They're breaking through. Watch out! Quickly, defend the laboratory! This could be a hard fight, Geralt. Take this potion. Witchers call it the Tawny Owl. It restores endurance. Very useful when fighting mages. Thanks. Let's go. Alright, let's get this shit done. You'll go no further, White One. I'll summon a powerful demon that will tear you apart. A bluff. He's exhausted from teleportation. Magic lights is about all he can muster. Go. We'll deal with him and join you at the barrier. Underestimating an opponent. Now the energy of my people will make me stronger. So, I think this is actually, uh, Savola. Nobody uh, messes with Salamandra! NOBODY! First boss fight we have. You can oh dear. He's not that fast. Right, so he's going to be teleporting around. I think I need to, uh, switch to a... Uh, the fighting style here. Finish him! Fatality. Oh, it seems like I, uh... Are you hurt? Did he get you? Nah. But if those were magic lights, I'd hate to face a truly powerful sorcerer. I wanted to help, but I couldn't break through that strange circle. Savol is eating dirt. That's what matters. We need to help Triss. Let's go. It seems like I just uh, finished him even before doing anything sp special, so I guess that was an easy fight. They're ransacking the laboratory. The other mages. <sighs> I underestimated him. Hurry. I found it. We have what we came for. Professor, deal with those witches. I hear witches can parry bolts in flight. Uh, 
Let's see. Leo, stop! Ah! Another fairy tale. What happened? Smashed ribs, punctured lung. He's dying. He needs White Rufford's decoction. Hang on, Leo. It was here. I can't find it. Vesemir, Leo is dead. How did this happen? He attacked the Professor. I was late. It's not your fault, Geralt. We're all to blame. Triss barely made it fighting for us. These are bad times for witchers, and something tells me they'll only get worse. Is it safe up top? Relatively. Some stragglers up there, but we'll deal with them later. You look tired. I'd like you to rest. I'll keep watch and tend to Leo's body. I'll find you later. Well, let's take a look around first, because there's some loot in here. Some uh, additional uh, swallow, which is our healing potion. Always good to have. Yes? I'll find you later. Actually, I believe it is uh, about that time. So, we're going to wrap this, this up uh, for now. Uh, catch you on the next one. So long.